Right, that is the it's called Dad's Car The Giant. Giant. Carl went to see breakfast again at the shop down the road. He got to the door. Beeped his horn. Beep beep. Are you in breakfast? Breakfast was starting to stir. When breakfast woke up, all the other ornaments in the shop woke up too. Hello, Carl, said Bagpuss. Hello, Bagpuss. What's going on today? What are those mice doing? They've got a giant. What's that then? Look, the giant's broke to pieces. Somebody can put it together again. Do the mouse have to come? The mice come to fix the giant. Yeah, yeah, they come again. Carl likes the song. I'm sure nobody ever made a statue as odd as that. No, no, I'm sure that's quite wrong. We will find it, we will find it. Nice try again. We will find it, we will stick a leg on it. We will stick a leg every little bit of it. We will fix it like new, new, new. No, no. No, be careful. Oh, no, that's dangerous. Stop at once. That whole heap is dangerous. That heap has only got to fall on poor little Charlie Mouse and he would be squashed. Now, very carefully, take it to pieces again. Just one piece at a time, but very gently. Ooh, mm. Gently. Ooh. Carefully. Here's yeah, a big piece, look. Look out, so look at our child. Here it goes. Oh, that wow. will do. That is quite enough banging and smashing and playing. What it is. Backpuss had an idea. And the car had an idea. Dad told a story about the giant marching on the parade. And the giant's sad today. The giant statue is mending again. The statue looks as good as new. And Gabriel sang a song to the little boy. Carry on. Whoa. What's that noise, Sir Carl? There once was a flea and a very fine flea And tall and strong and grand, said he And so you can see, if you just look at me I'm the biggest and the fattest in the land, that's me Then up came a mouse looking larger than a house And he said, Oh, oh, oh. 
Properly now, said Carl. It's the smallest giant in the world. Oh, well, that looks anyway, lovely. there it was in the shop window. So that if anybody who had lost a very small giant should happen to come past, they would see it there and come into the shop to collect it. And so their work was done. Well, see you later, back, Professor Carr. See you again soon. Bank what a great story. A well done, mice. And settled down to sleep. on the mouse organ. Gabriel and Madeleine were just dolls, and Professor Yaffle was a carved wooden bookend in the shape of a woodpecker. Even Bagpuss himself, once he was asleep, was just an old, saggy cloth cat. Baggy yes. and a bit loose at the seams. But Emily loved him. Right, to be continued.